From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Kansas City. And from his own end zone, Alante Taylor will return it. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Kill, kill. They run it again with Kamara. To about the 40-yard line. Now a second and six. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. From the gun, it's Carr. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 37. That third down conversion, good for 23. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. To the 36-yard line, stop there. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. They keep it with Miller on first down. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. On second down, here's Miller. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Six yards away. And the Saints are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. 
ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Nico Hardman, 75 yards. And the Chiefs are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. And able to get this out to the 25. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Again, it's Kamara. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 10 yards, good for a Saints first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. Now they try the right side here. Runs over him. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 41. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. Shedding the tackle. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, the guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to 11 on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator, understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense, realize he needs to change it to a run, and that gets it done in a big way as well. Now they'll throw with Carr. He gets this into the hands of Kirkwood. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Call that a very strong gain of 24. 
Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Camara is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Again, Camara. And this time he'll get down close to the goal line, but not quite in as he stopped at the one-yard line. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. So it's third and goal now. This is where the KC crowd can make it very tough. Here. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. Okay, so you just took the big loss. Now what are you doing on fourth down? But we have a change of plans now is what we have because I think they were looking at the play sheet, trying to dial something up to go for it on fourth down. But after that loss, that goes right out the window. Now you have to kick the field goal and hope to come back down the next time and score. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So after the field goal, back out is Groupie to send this one away. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Yellow, yellow. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And CD, you know, sometimes you don't need those complicated game plans or the added wrinkles. I mean, last time that you think about it, couldn't have been any simpler. One play, one pass, touchdown. I know those coaches put a lot of work into this game plan, but I don't think they mind possessions like that at all. They just saved those calls for this possession instead. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again, second and 10 from the 25. And the tight end goes in motion oh, left. No. Here's Mahomes to throw. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Mahomes. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. Watch out! 
They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. That's laid out deep for Rice. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Paulson to Debo. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. So they tried to take the deep shot there, but this defense up to the task. And a lot of times when you air a ball out like this, if it does get intercepted, there's going to be a lot of space out there to set up a return. And remember, you've got five big offensive linemen out there playing on their feet in open space. Not a skill most of them possess that allows for extra yardage on the return. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. 93. Now Carr throwing on second down. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. One well, of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, Try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. On the ground, Benjamin. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. They'll get it out quickly to Kirkwood. He's got room to roam. And he is out of bounds right around the ten-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. A 10th carry for Kamara. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the 5 at the 6. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. They run it with Benjamin. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see.
Nine seconds to play, likely the final snap of the first half as it's first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Shot before the half for Mahomes. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. Richie James, he's inside the 20. And now the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. He goes 102 yards from one end zone to the other. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from taking the lead. The people still trying to get back to their seats from the concession stand here at the start of the third quarter. And boom, we got points on the board. And you just identified why the bulk of stadiums have increased presence in the concession areas, right? TVs, loudspeakers, so people can still follow the game. And right now, they're bummed out that they missed that big return to start this half. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And their defense did its job, forcing the takeaway there to start the half, and now can the offense follow suit? And you'd better believe that one side of the ball feeds off. The ball is out. Kamara fumbled it. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his crew will take off with the football at the 35-yard line. He has been a workhorse for them in this game, and Buster, he hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. After the fumble recovery, it's Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just get rid of it. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. Now a second and 10. Mahomes. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. 
Lonnie Johnson picks it. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception returned for a touchdown. And this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. So now the Saints offense coming back out there. They're going to be called on to go for two. And they'll turn to Kamara. And he will find the end zone here. And the lead moves up to seven. And there's a quick momentum swing. INT returned for a pick six. And then the two-point conversion good. And even if you're keeping your wits about you, you're thinking to yourself, okay, extra point block team going into the game now. All of a sudden you're hearing defense. Everyone's scrambling for their helmets and throwing down their cups of water. That's a great position for them to be in, trying to score against that team. A little bit disjointed. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. Now a hit and a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I will and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight? Well, not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but to throw one to the big guy? But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is, you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game, telling all their teammates, maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. First down, New Orleans. Car now on first down. Dance into his left. And now the ball's out. Car lost it. Fumble. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys are going to take over at the 21 yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it on back to back drives, fumbles on their last two. I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Alante Taylor. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never. Not in a million years, but here we go. Now after the INT, it's Carr. This is caught. Touchdown. Alvin Kamara, 30 yards. And the Saints are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
And that's another route that defenders would vote to take out of the game. The wheel route? Oh, without a doubt. You're just trying to move everybody in one direction. And whether it's a running back or another receiver, as they zip out on the sideline, you've got a problem on your hands. Yeah, well, the defenders hate it there. It happened, and it resulted in a touchdown. Groupie able to add the PAT. And the lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch. This It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 82 yards. And the Chiefs have cut it back within a score. I know guys who design defenses, they try to prepare for everything. But you ignore the guy who plays tight end at your own peril. Yeah, and he's like having another wide receiver out there sometimes, right? Exactly right, because they're such a matchup nightmare, and they're hybrid guys. Are they receivers? Are they big guys that block? How about the one we just saw there? Catch it and go. Run after catch all the way into the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target. And they're within seven now with 28-21. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taylor now from the end zone. And he's going to be taken down inside the 10 at about the 8-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Throwing on first down is Carr. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. Carr completes it. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Kamara gets it again on second down. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Now Carr. And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. And no move to pull Carr and the offense off. They're going to go on fourth down. They'll go for it, it's Carr. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he is going to have the Saints first down. And that was something else. A big pickup on fourth and long to give him a new set of downs. I don't care what level of football you play. This one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, remember we get in these positions and you just say, everybody go along and hope something We're back now in KC. 
It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Kamara up the middle. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Now that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Legereo Sneed. up that last touchdown you know they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter this drive becomes very critical and now here is another interception picked off by Paulson and Debo and he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45 with the points that we've seen scored neither defense has been at their best but these guys have been a little bit better Charles and a nice interception there yeah you're right about that Brandon let's face it it's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. A boost here to start the drive after the penalty, it's first and five. On play action, it's Carr. Completes it to Perry. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. A car, he wants to change up the look here. Second and two. It gets this complete to Shahid. Touchdown, Saints! Third touchdown pass now for Derek Carr. And the Saints have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but that's caught inside the 20. A big play there for KC and even 50 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Escaping the pressure right. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. And now they're in the hurry up. Brings up second and 14 at the 17 yard line. On second down, here's Mahomes. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So erase the red zone score. They'll have to dial that one up again. And you know how difficult it is to strike in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed. You gotta go back to their play chart and see if they can dial up another one. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone. 
but it's incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Hey, 43, 43, 15. Now the homes got to have this one. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Chiefs have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Saints hands team able to rein this one in. Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They are in a great spot right now. And the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. That's laid out deep for Rice. He's down to the 40-yard line. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. But well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it? Kurt Coleman. Oh, yeah, that's then right. Then with the Eagles. That's right. Then against the, with the Eagles, and I believe it's against Washington and Rex Grossman. That's correct. On the run is Benjamin. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Perry, the man in motion. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. Now, this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. This is Benjamin. And he'll be taken down at the 34. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. They'll go for it. Here's Hayner. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown! Jimmy Graham. 34 yards. And the Saints tack on another score as they have dominated this fourth quarter. And what a weapon he is at the tight end.